Today on Uncommonly Good MTG, we are playing a Rakdos Forge deck, let's call it, just because it has Forge in it. Uh, and it really, it's it's a cliche deck. It's Shouldred and everything awesome about Shouldred mixed together with Urbrask and everything awesome about Urbrask. We're going to throw those two great cliches together and uh, see if we can make this deck do some awesome stuff. If you're interested, stay tuned up. Find out more. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I'm your host, seven-time Grandmaster of Australian-style tiddlywinks, Dr. Yukon Socket. Yes, thank you. Film before a live studio audience. Thank you so much. You can't suck it. Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters. And I'm bringing to you a deck of my own creation, which I've called Beseech the Forge. And it is a cliche deck. That's where what I do is I take uh, two colors. And I take everything that's cool from one color and everything that's cool from another color. And I jam those two decks together. In this case, it's um, technically it's, it's everything I could do with, with Shouldred. And that's because it's like Shouldred. I think Shouldred and Beseech the Mirror, it's not necessarily a combo. It's just that Beseech the Mirror lets you just go get Shouldred, right? And then um, if you can Beseech, you can kill something that's a, that's a tar uh, token, which the red does provide. Then you go get shoulder and put it directly into place. So that means we can go get shoulders directly from our graveyards. That gives us seven chances of getting shoulders out. Um, all right. And then on the, I, we're getting to the thing right immediately. Let me just, we'll skip to that a little bit. And the second side, we got Urbrask and cards that support Urbrask. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the cards that are in this deck. Then we'll talk about what the deck is supposed to do a little bit. And then we'll go out and crush some hopes and dream. All right, so we talked a little bit about Shouldered with Besieged the Mirror. The other one that goes along with Shouldered is Phyrexian Arena because once you get Phyrexian Arena, you start drawing two cards per turn, which is fantastic. And also, as long as you got Shouldered out, then you will net three life every time you draw cards at the beginning of the turn. So that is black life gain going on. We have strong ability to go get Phyrexian Arenas and the ability to go get Shouldered the Apocalypse with Besieged the Mirrors. And the ability to get them directly into play with Bargain is, is supported by our Reds. Um, we got 12 cards here, three specifically. They're all about Creature Kill. Creature Kill, Creature Kill, Creature Kill. Because we're not... I started off by trying to put some cool stuff out at the beginning. It wasn't worth it. It was just kill, 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 kill. Control the early board till you get to your third turn and start putting things down. And uh, that's what we got going on. Now on the red side, we've got Urbrask's Forge, who is matched together with his spiritual soulmate magnetic sprinter when this guy jumps out he throws two tokens onto urbrass forge which puts this guy onto three more because he puts his own token out um every turn so that means he would jump from a one to a four by his second turn out with magnetic sprinter supporting it which means you got a three and a four attacking on the turn after you put urbrass forge out so that's seven so you got fantastic amounts of damage being dealt by the reds as well as shoulder out there punishing them every time they're drawing a card. Um, to round things up, we got a guy that puts out a 2-1 trample haste every turn. He's cool. Um, and then we got this guy, which puts out a 3-1 trample lifelink haste. And you could do that twice, essentially. This guy's probably the lamest, but I like it so much. I like the fact that it's got lifelink in it. Um, still, it's not permanent, but you could probably swap this out for something else. Maybe something hasty. Maybe something that goes and gets artifact. Or, uh, like maybe the, the the vampire hasty chick that if you have the mana, you can go get something out of your graveyard. That might be good. I don't know. But anyway, so that's it. That's what this card does. That's the way we put it together. So what is this thing supposed to do? Early creature control. Early aggressive damage. Uh, gradually building. This guy's a clock that people have to deal with or they die. This makes things go much faster. We have the ability to gain a lot of life and to punish them for drawing cards. Go get whatever we need. Increase the amount of tokens on Urbrask Forge. And uh, bring things back from the graveyard. Some sort of creature or planeswalker. It's going to be a creature. 
We don't have a lot of solid creatures in here. The only thing that stays out generally is Shoulder of the Apocalypse. We got no defenses. We need these guys to keep things killed. All right, so that's it. Before we get out there and do our damage, though, let us talk. Let's say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Dear Black King Toxrel, who dwells within the dark chambers of our heart, please hear our prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. All right, playing against Carol Rom Tagak 66. Slow, slow, slow lands. All right, playing against some Demir right now. Hopefully, some. I just don't. I want to put out our Brass Forge next turn. All right, that's cool. We'll be able to get out our Brass Forge, no problem. Is this guy trying to mill me? He doesn't seem to be playing any creatures, so we'll get rid of that. Let's go for the sprint. All right, in for five. Yeah, he's going for a mill. That would be 12. All right. So he's got two for life at the moment. Really a nice shoulder should finish him off. I bet Earth, he doesn't have an answer to breast forward. Just got trample. Tramp, tramp, chewy champ. Hungry for more? I can use that. I see he's not really known for his life gain. Oh, let's just do it. Here we go. The deal is if he actually kills this guy, I'll just shoulder it. Can't can't block. You have the ability to kill it. You, you can save yourself. Oh, man. Let's go, Kuro Rom Tagukuk. There's just not a lot of creatures there, huh? You're really hoping that your Somnophage was going to be the thing that did it? And we win! Victory! Victory! 
Iron Pen against Wiley, 89. Keep. Kill, 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 and Urbask Forge. All right, that's fine. Nothing I can do for one. All right, number two, we could kill some killing. Get in the pod. All right, this guy's playing Demir. Yeah. Doesn't appear to have any counter spells at the moment, which is good. Oop, that looks very countery. I don't really care for that. All right, you can bounce one of them if you'd like. Let's get to kill it. And draw a card. All right, so all I got ability to do is just kill creatures. Let's take out the non-artifacts first. That was actually a really good card against you know, decks like these, because then they have to start sacrificing their permanents. He's got another. And we win. While they couldn't handle the pressure. Victory. All right, up in against Jazam, 1977. This deck is so weird in what it will give you at any particular time. All right, do this just so that we can use it. Drown and Icarus are only available part at the moment. I don't need three shoulders all at the same time. Ah, uh, he's trying to mill me. We'll get out our pal shouldered. I could do this for days. I can keep putting him shouldered out if that's a problem. I'm at 33. Found 18. Of course, I'm helping, helping him the cause here. All right, all in, baby cakes. You got a single mana there. All right, he's down 11. Is he gonna nuke me on this next turn? I got 16 lands. He's gonna take off another four, bring him down to seven. Got a chump.
Uh, let's see. This guy will attack for two. Get rid of that. Alright, I think I, we got him because Four Soldier is going to finish him off when he draws a card. And that's it. You're dead. And we win! Victory! Alright, I've been against Punk Snuggly Bear. All right, could you kill? Could you kill? All right, so three. What's three going to get us? Uh, let's see which is the worst one to spend here. Let's do this one. Lagrimos. That's weird. Yeah, as weird as he didn't go after his invasion with both the guys. If he wants to crack that thing open, dedicate yourself to it, right? Five off there. All right, and get him for three. And Shouldred's still out there being awesome. Alright, we got him on this next turn. He's got another one. We still have him on this next turn. He doesn't know it yet. I mean, he could probably do the math. It looks all like this. And we win! Victory in fire! Fire and victory! Our pen against Von Draken. Von Raken. Von Raken? Yeah, something like that. Keep. Nope. No bats. Shush up now. I don't like you looking at my hand. That's it's gross and icky. I would appreciate you get out of there. You scared about all your other creatures now? Let's go get a fight.
Yeah, he's willing to trade. Good for you. Let's go for Shouldred. Reach that level of game where you got to do something about her. Girl, you got it. Alright, here comes the next children. What was that even? All right, you gonna draw a card? All right, that one's gone. Let's Brexian Arena this. Eh, maybe not. No, okay. I thought we'd go for the attack, but I forgot he was phased out. All right, it's down to eight, four, five, six, seven is what we're dealing based on what we know about. He's got blockers. We're going all in. We're just going to goblin raid this guy. Down to three. Oh, I'm going to end the turn. <clears throat> all right, your shoulders are going to take him at least down to one. If he tries to draw another card, he'll die. Draw a card. I dare you. I dare you to do it. There you go. That's it. You're dead, man. That's it. And we win. Victory. All right, so here we are with Beseech the Forge. Beseech the Forge. Um, yeah, this was a weird deck. It was an evolution. I had some ideas. It started off as Demir, and we ended up here at Rakdos again. This is entirely not the deck I expected to be playing, yet it's the deck we ended up playing. It had the best win rate when it was all said and done, and uh, it had the ability to do things that we hadn't really seen. I mean, I, I, I just say that at all. It acted weird, but it still did all right. So what was weird about it? The weird part is that I don't know if it's the, the, the shuffler or something. But it's like we would never we get like a nice cross section of the cards that are in here. You know, basically the deck kind of demands upon using Beseech the Mirror to go get whatever card you're missing. There's three of them in here. Never I would never get them. It was almost practically never I would get Beseech the Mirror. Um I would never get out Urbask Forge, and but I'd get Shoulder of the Apocalypse. I'd get out or like three Urbask Forges, and I'd get nothing else. It was just this weird thing where we would see like slices of the deck, but you would never get like a cross section of the deck. 
So the deck never worked like as a whole. You would just get like essentially three different decks that would come out and randomly you would just get one of them and that would be it. So it was weird. It was really weird. Um, saying that, who was the most valuable player here? What was it? Probably Phyrexian Arena. <laughs> it was probably Phyrexian Arena because Phyrexian Arena is the engine that helped you get the cards you needed. Um, yeah. Yeah, the only problem was is that there are 24 lands in this deck. And for some reason, Phyrexian Arena loved to grab lands. I would grab like five lands in a row. I don't I don't know how that would happen. It just, I mean, it, it I mean it's happened before, but yet this for some reason today, the shuffler was just nuts. But Phyrexian Arena was probably the MVP of this deck. So good for you, Phyrexian Arena. All right. Was this deck competitive? I have a hard time. I can't tell. I ended up with the 63% win rate, right? That is competitive. I feel like this deck should have done a lot better because all of the pieces are there. Um, everything should have gone very well, and yet it, it's like the shuffler was fighting against me. So I think it should have been better than what it is, yet, um, I don't know, it didn't it didn't perform as well as I'd hoped. 63% is still pretty good. I'm going to give it a weak check, though. That's it. Weak. Number two, was this deck fun? Absolutely. What was fun about it? It was, I mean, I love black creature control. That's one of my best things I ever like going on. Um, Urbrass Forge, of course. That was the whole reason I put this together. Urbrass Forge. You know, it's funny. I, I really like Lagamos just because it's so much like Urbrass Forge um, and Hungry for More. And yet, I never put them in because people always just kill Lagamos off. Hungry for More is just a two-shot deal. Um, but still, I put them in. They actually worked pretty well in this, this setup. People didn't seem so concerned about Lagamos. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's nowadays. No, people don't care. Uh, they're not playing with as much creature control. I don't know. It was nice being able to have those guys out doing their jobs. I like the life gain. Um, that's what really the whole thing was about initially was black life gain. Um, and then that was with Demir. And then uh, that got kind of slow. And I realized that just mono black would probably do it all together without the blue. At which point, then it's like, you know, I'm going to merge together Urbrask and Shouldred life gain. And, uh, but then I ended up having to take away a bunch of the cards that allow us to draw life. Still, between Frexian Arena and Shouldred, that is a decent amount of life gain. Hungry for more life gain. Uh, but then Urbrask Forge, Magnetic Sprinter. What Lagmos adds to it is just an additional guy coming out. It's really aggressive. So I found that to be lots of fun. I think Beseech the Mirror is fantastic. The only thing that's the problem with Besiege the Mirror is that three black mana sometimes it's hard to get. And usually what's great about the bargain is you can kill the hungry the vampire from Hungry for More, Lagamos's uh Elemental or Urbrask Forgeling, and then you go get yourself Urbrask or Shoulder or Magnus Sprinter or whatever it is that you think you need otherwise. The deck is very aggressive, very aggressive. Um, I just kind of wish that it just felt like the like the creature control just isn't as present as it should be, and yet there are 12 of it. There's a hardcore 12 in this deck. I don't know, man. As far as being fun, though, it is 100% fun. This is exactly what uh, Dr. Second loves. It is fantastic. All right, was this deck interesting? It was interesting on how badly it tried to play for me. And I don't blame the deck. It was the shuffler. There's no reason for me to get whatever three Urbrasks and absolutely no Shouldreds or three Shouldreds and, and you know, nothing else. Or then like 25 lands in a row. Man, something was out to get me today. And it was definitely that shuffler. So I think the deck is interesting just because it has at least, you know, basically it's got two of my favorite uh, card, you know, I don't want to say mechanics, but groupings, which is Shoulder It and Phyrexian Arena and Beseech the Mirror. Um, all that is fantastic, right? That's because that's all about life gain and going and getting Shouldreds and just putting them out as much as you want. You got Urbass Forge with Magnematic Sprinter. You got the Monumental Facade. Those three all work great together. You got the Drowned Acre, Go for the Throat, Infernal Grasp, just killing off opponent's creatures. Hungry for more in Lagavos just because we're totally into that non-persistent, hasty uh, attack creature mode. So, yeah, man, this was an interesting deck just because it was a bunch of good stuff. It was two cliches slammed together. All right, so let's add that up. Was it competitive? Ah, uh, no, but I felt it should have been better. Was it fun? Totes. Was it interesting? 
not I mean it was a bunch of synergy amongst the cards but things were split so I'd say with the synergistic nature of it it was definitely worth it was an interesting card deck to play um so let's go ahead and call that check we check at that all right so what does that leave us with that leaves us with uh I'm gonna give with the way this deck played today I'm gonna give it an a minus an a minus because it just it seemed to fall apart it was way too much on where the lands were all coming up and I couldn't get to the cards we needed um thing is though is there's not really a reason for it it was definitely the shuffler I believe this card is probably a straight a card a straight a deck I keep saying card rather than deck this deck is a straight a deck Yet, with the way it performed today, I have to give it an A-. minus. Man, I am sorry, Beseech the Ford. You have so many awesome things in you, but the Shuffler was just out to get you. It was out to get you. All right, so if you decide to play with this deck, I hope that you have as much fun with it as I did. All right, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. See you next time, Space Cowboys. Later.